I think I've been doing calisthenics for 14 years. We now welcome to the stage competitor number two. describe calisthenics as a combination of dance and rhythmic gymnastics we can compete in teams and there's like six items or six routines that you do there's some apparatus ones like rods there's others with clubs which are kind of like battens and you swing them around then there's one routine that's very balletic but with a long skirt um, there's one where you march around the stage and make patterns and formations and it's all about kind of being synchronized. And then the last one for teens is free arm, free exercise, which is very acrobatic based. Um, I'd say it's a lot like gym or acrobatics in that regard. Calisthenics in Australia is actually quite an odd sport that's been around for a very long time. It used to actually be a rec sport um, for a lot of schools in Victoria, but I think over time it's definitely evolving and changing. Calisthenics isn't very big in Queensland, but um, in 2015, I was the first ever Queenslander to win a national. Ladies and gentlemen, that is history, Queensland. Queensland has just won. This year, I got the opportunity to go to nationals for both my solo and my graceful. Graceful is a item you can do by yourself and you compete in it. And if you qualify, you get a nationals. Um, it's very ballet based, um, although it's kind of morphed throughout the years. And I think now it's kind of being more modernized and it's more contemporary and lyrical style. What I find is it's very expressive. It's about how you express your body and your face. Um, like there's a big kind of center around how you tell your story. Gracefuls are kind of regarded as a very prestigious event within the calisthenics community and within calisthenics competitions. It is kind of seen as the epitome of calisthenics to compete in a graceful. To me, being a graceful girl is being able to express yourself and just like embody the routine and the choreography and work with the music just to tell a story and to just ooze emotion. Calisthenics is very big. Um, it's, you know, it's a big production. The sparkles, the costumes, the headpieces, the makeup, it's all about kind of how you perform, but it can be so intimate and beautiful um, to watch and experience. I enjoy calisthenics because I've made so many strong friendships. You go through a lot, the highs and lows of calisthenics, being on stage. I don't know, there's just nothing like performing on stage, like I get out of calisthenics. It's not about winning or losing. I, regardless of the outcome at the end of the day, you just want to get off stage and go and celebrate with your teammates. And even if you're competing in a soloist um, routine, it's still celebrating with the people around you who got you to that point. Coached by Sue Hardy in the morning. I think at its core, calisthenics is about the teamwork. I think it's a very social sport and like you really do make such good friendships and relationships with people. I really liked nationals this year because I got to meet up with a bunch of people that I haven't seen for a while. Um, and it's a bit different now that I'm older. I feel like, you know, it's not just about the competition. I think previous years it has been, you know, I've been so hyper-focused on competing. Whereas this year I was able to kind of take a step back and just appreciate the environment and, you know, the competition for what it was rather than for what I did. Like there's no other way to feel it. It's like euphoric and elated and you literally have no idea what's going on, but everything just feels like you're floating through time and you're just enjoying the moment. And I don't know, I feel like that's the moments that I kind of do calisthenics for and it's literally like an addiction. Like I just keep, you know, going back because I just love the feeling of it. Best. Best.